Okay, so you've done some work, uh, answered your math questions here with uh, paper and pencil, and you want to know how to get that work into the Dropbox on the Hub. Well, that's what we're going to do in this video. So we're going to go through the steps that you need to follow to um, submit some, to scan some work with your phone and get it into a Dropbox on the Hub. So these are the steps that we're going to follow here. Um, number one, install a scanner app. Uh, how you do that is going to vary from phone to phone, but I'm going to assume that you know how your phone works and how you install apps on your phone. If you just search uh, for scanner app, a whole bunch of options will come up for you. Um, so you take the scan of your work. It might take a, a little bit of time to figure out how exactly your scanner app works, but most of them, it's just like taking a picture with your phone. Now, for a lot of the free apps, you actually can't, um, they won't let you export the scan directly to Google Drive or uh, Dropbox or anything like that. But usually you can email it to another, uh, to your email account free of charge. So I've taken a scan of my work. I am emailing it to myself right now. Uh, and I'm going to email it to my HWDSP account. So let's just go and check and see if I click on email. Um, and there it is. It has popped up. It says that this message is from, okay, so there we can see the scan that I've taken here. Now, the scans always turn out better than pictures do. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've got this scan on my email. I'm going to download this to my computer. And then I'm going to go to my downloads folder here. And it should be in there. There it is right there at the bottom. Doc Feb 14th, 2019. Let's just rename that. Uh, I want to rename it to something that is a little bit more descriptive. So I'll put my last name in there, Lepischak. This is the get starting unit. And I'll say that this is activity three. Okay, so I've got that renamed. Um, and let's go back to our instructions. I've downloaded it, I've renamed it. So now I just need to submit it to the Dropbox. So if this was activity three here, I'm going to just click on the Dropbox. I'm gonna add a file. I'm gonna upload it from my computer here. It was stored in downloads. And I know what I called it. I called it uh, my name, lepischakgsa3.ps. And I add it in there, and there it is. Click Submit. Perfect. So that didn't take very long at all. Um, now, if we go back and we take a look at what this scan looked like here, there's a couple of things that we want to have on our work here. We want to have the title of the activity, Getting Started Activity 3. You want to have your name on it somewhere. And you want to have um, like a, the pages number. So this was just one page of work here. So I submitted, uh, I labeled this page one of one. Now, if you can't seem to get a scanner app to work on your phone, uh, you can just take a picture of the work with your phone. Um, but that's going to involve a little bit of extra step here. So what you're going to have to do is take a picture of the work on your phone, email it to your HWDSP account, and then um, you want to get it into a PDF file. So the scans automatically go to a PDF, which makes it really easy. Um, getting the images into a PDF is going to be a little bit trickier. So we'll go through how to do that um, right now. So I've got, let's see, I have taken a picture of some work on my phone. I'm going to do the same thing that I did before. I'm going to email it to myself. So I'm going to just, let's see, put in my email address. There we go. Send that email. Let's go see if this has shown up here. Get out of here. Out. Oh, there's the record that I have submitted that other thing to the Dropbox. So let's refresh here. see if that new file has shown up. Oh, not yet. Let's refresh again. Nope. There it is. Okay, so I've got this image here. Um, if I click on it, notice this doesn't look nearly as good. Okay, I've got this border showing the desk all around it. I've got a whole bunch of shadow in there. So what I'm going to do with this file here is 
Um, I'm going to download it as well. Okay, so you can see it's a JPEG file. And I'm going to, in order to do this, I'm going to create a new Google Doc here. So you all have access to Google Docs here. If you go to home.hwdsb.on.ca, you go through I am a student, and so on and so on. And you'll come to a page that looks kind of like this one here. You click on the Google Apps, and it takes you to your Google Drive here. So if we create a new file, Google Docs, let's give it a name. Um, we want to call this again uh, your last name, getting started, activity three, and we're going to insert that image that we had downloaded there. So we're in downloads. Let's see. Oh, here is that image right there. And we want to put that in there. Now we want to make this big enough um, that it's going to take up an entire page, but Right now, um, this doesn't look all that good here because we, uh, we got all this stuff that we don't want around the outside. So if I double click on this image, okay, I can, it brings up this, the ability, brings up the ability for me to crop this thing. Okay, so basically I'm just chopping off the parts that I don't want. Okay, I can adjust this a little bit. Okay, and when I've got it nice, I'm just gonna click somewhere else. And there we are. I've just got the stuff that I want in there. And then if it's a little hard to read, I might as well just make it bigger because I only want to put like one page of work on one page of my document. So here you can see that just like the, the actual work from the photo without any of this stuff or stuff around it. All right. So if I just have this one page here, I can go to file. I oops, sorry, file. And I can download this as a PDF document. There it goes. Rubbish check, getting started, A3. It stuck the one on it because I already had that other file in there. And then I can submit this to the Dropbox the same way I did the last one, just by going to Dropbox and uploading a file and so on and so on. Okay. So it's important to have these things in a PDF format because it makes it a lot easier for me to mark. Um, I'm going to mark a lot of work that you do over the course of the semester. So putting in a PDF makes it easier for me.